Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional here at Stanford University Golf Course and host teaching professional for My Smart Golf. Today we're going to talk about how to hit a high, soft landing bunker shot. I'm faced here with a bunker shot where I've got a really high lip. The lip is probably 8 to 10 feet and I need to hit it to a very tight pin. The pin is only cut about 10 feet from the fringe. So I need a shot that's going to be really high and soft. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my most lofty club, that's my lob wedge. Now the key to hitting this thing as high as I can is to make a very V-shaped golf swing. In order to make a V-shaped golf swing or a very upright steep swing, I have to do several things. Number one, I'm going to get my weight 60% on my left foot. And here's the key. As I go back, I'm doing two things. I'm lowering my front shoulder, in this case my left shoulder, and cocking the club up. You can see how that brings the club straight up. So as I'm turning back, my left shoulder is going down and my wrists are cocking up. You can see how steep and narrow this backswing is. Now on the downswing, I want to throw as much loft on this club face as possible. So as I come down, I'm going to throw away that wrist hinge and cup my wrists, cup my left wrist, and throw with my right. So my right palm's facing the sky. You can see how much loft. I've got like 90 degrees of loft on this club face. And then I'm going to recock the club up. The way I think about this, I have an image of actually swinging inside of a very narrow phone booth. And I've got to make my swing really steep and narrow to not hit the sides. So let me review this again. Weight about 60% on my left foot. On my back swing, lower the left shoulder and cock the wrist. Keep it very narrow. Again, we're not trying to hit the side of the phone booth here. From here, I'm going to throw the club head past my hands. It's very much of a scooping motion. The left wrist is cupped, the right wrist is thrown, so the palm is facing the sky, and up I go vertically on the other side so I don't hit that side of the phone booth. Let's give it a shot. That ball went straight up in the air, landed softly, and just trickled right up to the hole. Now let's take a look from the down the line point of view. I want to show you this down the line point of view so you can see the severity of the lip, how high and soft I have to hit the shot, how close the pin is to the edge of the green. Now you'll be able to see a couple of extra things from this point of view that you didn't see from the face on angle. On the back swing, you're going to really see how vertical my shaft looks. It's a very up and down position. You're also going to see how cupped my left wrist is and how open the club face is. Okay. At this point, again, I'm going to start my throwing motion, and a good drill to do that is to hold the club head and push into it, because you're really going to be throwing this thing from here. And then on the way through, you're going to notice that the club face is very open. It's on this side of the shaft, okay? And again, I've got that vertical position on the way through. Well, let's go ahead and take a look from this angle. Again, I got my weight on my left foot. I got the face open. I got my hands low, and here we go. Okay, now one of the things you may notice from this point of view is I've got a very square stance, okay? I don't believe in swinging across the ball and having a wide open stance because when you do that, the ball lands on the green and kicks off to the right with side spin. What I'm doing is making a very vertical golf swing but swinging it around my body so I still have a swing shape that's in to in. And what happens there is it produces a ball flight and a spin that's very square so it'll hit, check, and roll straight rather than kicking off to the side. So we produce a swing that's going to produce a very high, soft landing shot with a little bit of backspin on it. Great for a shot where you've got a high lip and a tight pin. Go for it.